I'm Jeff Mink, a technical crop manager with Syngenta in our Southern Field Crops Business Unit, located in Memphis, Tennessee. Right now, in the uh, really across the whole South, we're dealing with uh, plant bug issues in cotton. We've got extremely high numbers of plant bugs. Um, they come into the cotton and feed and knock off the young squares. I've even heard reports down in Georgia where they've only got like 20% square retention right now because the plant bug population is so heavy. We've got a lot of flea hoppers out in Texas right now. They're requiring a lot of treatments. And Dr. Roger Leonard with LSU uh, just sent out a notice about the plant bug issues that they're experiencing in Louisiana as well. So it looks like we're in for a real heavy bug year, at least early on in the season. And people really need to be out ahead of these plant bugs. Uh, Syngenta, we offer a great bug material in Centric. Um, it's been proven, it's, it's very effective, probably one of the most effective products we have in the market. What we need to do though is to rotate these chemistries as well. Uh, use Centric for a little bit and then rotate to, to some other chemistries to uh, prevent resistance. And then later on in the year, um, we also have indigo insecticide, which is a combination of Centric and Karate Z. Uh, that broadens the spectrum of activity and we've seen that later in the year with these plant bug populations the addition of the pyrethroid to the neonicotinoid insecticides uh, really offer exceptional control against these hard to kill plant bugs. It also broadens out the spectrum in terms of stink bugs because they can come in later in the year as well and then any boll worms that may have come in uh, we're able to get those out of this BT cotton with um, the pyrethroid insecticide. So the only other issue that we really have right now in, in cotton in particular and some in corn are spotter mites. The spotter mites usually show up in hot and dry conditions. Over the past few years they seem to have adapted though more to where even these frequent rain showers we may get um, don't really knock them back either. So we've got a product called Agrimec. It's a, it's a really good miticide, but again you need to be out in, in front of these insects uh, and really get the insecticide on it before they build to high populations and go ahead and, uh, and knock them back some and then you'll be set for the rest of the year.